One of the polyalphabetic ciphers is known as the Vignier cipher and this is similar to the Caesar cipher but with the Caesar cipher we would have chosen a message and a rotation value so if we'd have rotated it by one then T would have been represented by U and H would have been represented by I and so on and so forth but with the Vignier cipher it's like a multiple Caesar cipher and the thing that changes that is this use of a keyword so this keyword each letter is going to be placed underneath one of the letters in the plain text message so we put in the Q under the first one then the U then the E and then under the next E the other E of Queens and then M and S and then we repeat that without any spaces between the words but obviously if there's a space in the message we do that until we have the keyword repeated underneath each of the uh, message letters. What we now need to do is for each of these letters in the keyword we need to find the value of Q within the alphabet. So we are showing how each word Queens is reproduced but the letter value for Q from up here is 16 so that goes there. U is a value of 20 so that can be put in there. E has a value of 4, so put that in and we carry on so E has a value of 4 again and then put all of those values in and then we're going to start to take the letters of the plain text message and we're going to start shifting them by the value of whatever letters underneath it so T is being shifted by 16. Now if this was a Caesar shift or an ordinary shift cipher then each of these letters would be shifted by 16 but we're going to do different shifts for each letter so we can do a calculation on each of these if we take T and find out that that's 19 the current position plus the rotation value which is 16 and then this little funny symbol which you look at as like a percent sign it is but it means modular 26 so that what that's saying is whatever is here divided by 26 and then this says just give us the remainder of that so if we were to take 16 and add it to 19 that's going to give us 35 and 26 goes into that one so we'd have left over of 9 so that's how this should work so we take T with its position of 19 I'm going to type that into there and the rotation value is determined by Q its value is 16 so we're going to put that into here press enter and it gives us a value of 9 which we said we we're expecting which is J so we're going to write that as our encrypted letter for the first one as J. Now we're going to do the same thing for H. H has a value of 7, so that goes in there. The rotation value is 20. Press that, that gives us 1. So that's B at the top. We're going to do the same for E. E has a value of 4. So we put 4 in. And the rotation value is also an E, so that's another value of 4. And that gives us 8. So we go to 8 and put in letter I and then we're going to repeat that for each letter so we're going to find E as 4 it's going to have a rotation value 4 so that's going to be in I as well and we're going to do the same find the position of the original letter take the rotation value and then whatever that value is we look for that up there so we can play this forward and we can see the remainder of our encrypted text has been filled in following this process up here and now we have the message JBI IAWCS ETC JEUGL so that's our encrypted text that we've sent off now that should be more difficult to find because we've got a different shift as the letters now it's not probably ideal to have a word with two of the same letters right next to each other because we get the same letter repeated there but it still holds that this is more difficult to, to solve than the previous Caesar cipher. To revert back from an encrypted text, up here we did a calculation that said current position plus rotation value divided by 26 and give us the remainder. That's what the modulus is doing here. We say take the current position of the encrypted text, thing. so J in this case would be 9, take that away from the rotation, which is 16, and then do the same calculation again divide by 26 and give us the remainder now if we were to do that put in 9 for the current position of the encrypted one its rotation value was 16 
press enter that gives us a value of 19 and 19 we can see is a t which is back to the original value that we had in the play message so don't be concerned too much about this over here this is just some uh, functions that I've put in there that helps you to use this spreadsheet so you would put your plain text message in there you would re put your repeating keyword so our keyword is Queens but you might be given a different keyword or you come up with your own keyword that needs to repeat under each letter in there we need to find the value of each of those letters because we're going to use that as I say you don't worry too much about that you can just put in the values and that will work it out for you if I take that last letter H let's go through what we're doing with this again we're saying that it's paired with this letter in the keyword which is E and that has a value of 4 all we're saying is H is going to be changed by 4 so H is going to be 1 2 3 4 it's going to be the letter L and that's what we ended up with there it's just that we use this to make it easy it's not too difficult with that one but when you're shifting something by 20 when you get to H you then have to start saying 1 2 3 4 and it takes a lot longer and if when you come in back again from L you're going four backwards from L so you get to L and say one two three four back to the H that you started with so I'm going to give you a couple of these exercises one to give me some encrypted text and then I'll give you an encrypted text and ask you to give me the original plain text message